Alright, what's up y'all? I figured I'd do a little lesson so that we can explain why it is that we as black people get a little upset, not a little upset, but even very upset when we see a commercial like the Pepsi commercial that was starring Kendall Jenner, okay? Um, because what we want to do is we want to help people, um, especially white folks, but other people who might be confused as to what the backlash is, we want to help you all understand where where we're coming from, okay? So that so that maybe it'll help you to think about if you were in a similar position and something similar to happen were, were to be happening to you, how exactly would you feel about that, okay? In hopes that this will continue to bridge the gap and continue to help us to think really about well, how do others feel and how do I identify with my brother? Um, when he feels pain and, and, and where he might be hurting. So, when we think about the Pepsi commercial, some, and y'all can go online and find it for those of you who haven't watched it so that you can get the, the, the imagery. But some of the things that I realized is you had a, a commercial that was mimicking a social justice confrontation with police, okay? So, if think over the course of the past few years, the past several years, uh, especially black people, We've been faced with a lot of challenges with the police in this country, okay? Whereas the police are supposed to be here to protect, um, for black people, we have found ourselves in confrontation often with the police. And again, by no means are we saying that all police are bad, neither are we saying that most police are bad. Most police we believe are good, but there just seems to be a significant amount of police who do not have the interest of black people in mind and do not protect and serve black people the same way that they serve other people groups, okay? So that's the scenario that we find ourselves in. There's a, there's a protest going on. There are police who are standing and staging off against um, minority groups, including black people, including some um, Middle Eastern individuals, amongst others, okay? And there's a big standoff going on. So there are blacks who are in this group Okay, and other minority groups, as I said. Now, the thing is, is that a white woman, however, is the one who the commercial is all about. All the attention goes to her. Everybody is struck with her beauty and her stardom, or what have you. And she is beautiful by, by all means, okay? Um, but she gets to be the one who now brings a Pepsi up to one of the police officers. She breaks through the crowd. She walks up to the police officer, she hands him a Pepsi, the police officer accepts it, drinks it, and then all of a sudden a smile is put on his face, okay? And all of a sudden now, a connection is made. Now, that might seem like nothing big, in, in fact it might seem like it's good, but imagine that when you are somebody who is black, who you've tried to reach out to police officers, make peace with them, get on the same page, and this has been a real issue for you. People from your, your people have died, okay? You have people from your community who are dying at the hands of these police, and you're trying to sit down and just have a conversation with them, all right? And nothing seems to be happening, but then all of a sudden a commercial gets to portray a white woman as having the power to, 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 to bridge this gap and to bridge this connection. She's now the savior of the day, okay? Somebody who hasn't been herself through the same types of trials and tribulations that your people have had. As a matter of fact, this is a person who comes and probably represents privilege at its, at its uh, uh, highest echelon, okay? So now, think about it. So the person that, who they had playing this girl, this, um, girl was Kendall Jenner, right? So who is Kendall Jenner, okay? Kendall Jenner is a, a, a young white woman who is rich and wealthy. Okay, I said that she's white already. She's a symbol of beauty, okay? She's a model and all these things. They're, they're, she's always on TV because of her beauty, okay? And the other thing is that she's a Kardashian, okay? So this is a person who has uh, 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 some fame because of the family that she comes from. She is one of the Kardashians. Now, she's not specifically from, uh, you know, doesn't have the last name Kardashian because she has a different father, but she shares the same mother as Kim Kardashian and her sisters. So now pay attention to this. What, what are some of the other things that are making black people upset at this commercial? Well, think about the Kardashians and who they have been, okay? And this is not a knock on the character. I don't know them personally, 
We're just talking about the image that they put out and just from what we've been able to see looking in since they're the ones who kind of get more play than almost any other stars out there right now, okay? So these are individuals who they seem to enjoy black women's style, okay? Um, they seem, from, from what I understand, to have uh, enhanced or alter aspects of their body. All right? And specifically when you look at how it's been done, it looks like it's been done to somewhat mimic how black girls have been known to be shaped, okay? They seem to do their hair um, in ways that, that black girls tend to do their hair. They seem to do things with their skin to kind of uh, add a, a, a little bit of a hue, a browner hue than they might naturally have, all right? Now, along with that, we have, uh, it seems that they also like black men who have some type of status and who have some type of wealth, okay? And what I've noticed, me personally, just from uh, the outside looking in, is that it, it seems that, that, that they, they, they tend to latch on to black men, and a lot of the black men that they've latched on to seem to be broken in some way, shape, or form. And when I say broken, that doesn't mean that, that they're not a person who can think for themselves or, or what have you. But, but it seems like there, there's often some, some, some underlying issue um, or brokenness that has been left unresolved which comes even more so to the forefront once they get with them. You know, I think about uh, guys like Kanye West and who Kanye West has been. And I remember Kanye West, it seemed to be the most outspoken and vocal and one of the productive mouthpieces for uh, black people uh, years ago. And now it, it, it seems that when he does speak, it, it hasn't been, in my opinion, that productive for the black community or what have you, okay? Um, so, so, and, and I mean, that, that's a whole other story. So you have that. Um, and, and my thing was this, they make, they've made a name for this of the Kardashian name has become a, a, a household name because of their attachment and their appropriation of black men and black culture. You see what I'm saying? So, so, so here you have it is that we have a hard enough time making it most of us. Uh, for ourselves, and yet here's another instance of uh, white America being able to come in, appropriate black culture for their benefit, they elevate because of it, and we're still stuck dealing with the police in a way that, uh, that, that, that we're still scared when we interact with police, okay? So, so, so you have that, and yet Pepsi decides that it's a good idea for, again, this same group of women who have uh, experienced privilege, okay, through black culture, all right, these white women who have experienced privilege through black culture to then be able to then be considered the saviors of these different minority groups in this commercial, in a setting, in a scene where blacks are in confrontation and blacks and other minority groups are in confrontation with police, once again, okay? Another instance where they get to be the ones who uh, bring victory, they get to be the ones who are the saviors. They're the ones that get to be seen as the hero of the story. They get to be the ones that are, are uplifted as the star of the story and everybody else is just in the backdrop. All right. So that's why when you see uh, uh, black people upset at this commercial, it's because the commercial just represents another instance where black people uh, are, are unable to really be acknowledged for the work that they are trying to do in order to make things better. Okay. You have groups like the Black Lives Matter group who have been, uh, uh, who, who, who have been uh, spoken badly about by how many different people groups, even though all they've done is try to bring and, and bring understanding to the situation and context and, and to cause real change. And here you have for profit, okay, for commercial profit, you have a company who's spending millions of dollars and expecting to make millions of dollars through, through the commercial based on the negative experience that we have been going through. But they get to use it for profit. Kendall Jenner gets to use it for profit, all right? The Kardashians get to add to their name because she's their sister uh, for their own profit. And we are not profiting off of it. We're dying from these types of instances, okay? And from these types of encounters. We're going to jail because of it, all right? We're, 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 we're not gaining any wealth in and of ourselves. Okay, our culture, you look at hip-hop and other cultures that, that once other 
other people groups get their hand on it, they are able to make a profit out of it or and, and, and make larger profits off of our music, off of our culture, than we're able to. Okay? So it's that whole concept, again, of privilege. Here we see it. Now, the reason why I decided to teach it like this is because I'm not trying to assume that because you might have been a person who liked the Pepsi commercial that you were trying to be a bad person, okay? I'm not trying to say that. But just in case you are a white person or another person who uh, gets to, to maybe hold themselves uh, or, or link themselves to the majority people group in this, in this uh, country, I just want you to kind of understand where we're coming from in hopes that as you begin to understand more about why we feel the way that we do and, and our experiences, it'll help bridge the gap and maybe you will help become an ally to help us bring real equality in this society as well. That's enough for me. I'm starting to babble. Okay, but you get the picture. I hope that this was helpful to somebody. All right? This is born. I'm out of it. Peace.